Good afternoon from Yanni B TV. Sending lots of love to you as usual on a cold Monday. Don't be fooled outside. The sun's out, or depending where you are, obviously. Uh, but I was travelling this morning with that jacket. It seems like it's icy out there, so the change is coming. Uh, really cold out there, I found. It went straight into my hands, you know, like with the arthritis and all that, as well as the back and the shoulder and everything there. It felt like I was spasming in the middle of the street. Like I told you, coming to Yami B TV, soon to be Uncle B TV, will be interviews and debates of all kind of topics and subjects. One of those this morning that has come up, talking to a, a lovely lady in Wales and waiting two years for our partner to come out. You know, for the first time in life, I'm experiencing or hearing uh, the other side of the coin, having really been selfish in there myself when I've had a girlfriend or my ex missus who, you know, it has to be told that I sold dreams to, uh, really. You know, the guilt and shame from that, about when I get out, you know, I'll be doing this for you and that for you and I never fulfilled those promises, and I know many men can resonate with that, also ladies as well. Funny she said this morning as well that, you know, two years waiting feels really, really lonely. Uh, I can identify with that, definitely many of us can, but she feels like a prisoner in her own house because she misses him so much, you know, but how does it feel for a lady who's so used to having her man there and the financial support as well uh, is a very, um, deep one as well because if you get used to living in a certain way or your provider is the man how does it feel you know when you can't have those financial things around you for the kids or for yourself and then you have to travel and I used to be asking for money you know for my private spends as well and there's very little money that some of us might have to give make sure that we're all right behind the door taking your girlfriend or missus's last few quid uh, so that you can use the phone in there to talk to her or canteen kind of thing. Now, Daniela Foster, a couple of years ago, um, a couple of weeks ago, was speaking about, um, Daniel, you were speaking about someone coming out and they won't be out until they're 59, but I looked at the emojis and I could feel the sadness from you. So it's very strange how this topic has come up because it will be one of our debates and some of you will be invited if you want to come on and share your experiences and how you coped, how you're not coping, all the difficulties as well. Think about it. You know, you, you, your missus getting searched at the gate uh, by officers, kids getting searched at the gate. We knew the famous story of Mr. Baker where he lift up the nappy and found loads of drugs in it. So you know that is what you've got to expect that when you're going to prison. But how difficult is it really? Because I'm thinking about the loneliness. Because I, I put loneliness into two bits. Because you, you could be lonely in a room full of 10 people, I believe. Depending on how you feel inside that day. And then the heartfelt loneliness. Where you just want to be alone. Uh, by choice, even. Because you could be alone with your feelings, even. You know what I mean? But, you know, you tend to... And the ladies as well. You know, for sitting there. You know, I'm thinking about... I'm now seeing about the real-life temptations as well. Because if you miss a cuddle and the warmth of your partner there with you, you know, it's a, a big, big shock. And it's a, sometimes it's a long time to wait, especially if you're counting down the days of um, when we come out, you know, and, and some are apprehensive now with hearing other ladies' experiences that they waited all that time for nothing, if you get what I mean. And also, I didn't, it, did, it didn't occur to me until, you know, the other day kind of thing. Uh, I don't know whether it's because I got... Um, cleaner and cleaner and I'm about to celebrate that with you soon I've got a big message for you all soon before the interview start but explaining it to the kids I never ever saw that side of things uh, so I miss I miss that as well how do you do it you know how do, how do you break it down when daddy's not there and they're so used to him? what do you tell them remember the story uh, also with the visits in in that time in Loudon Grange uh, that I told you about where I, I got the pass off sadly in front of the children committing crime but you also tell them sometimes depending on the age you want to tell them lies so that they don't know so you bring them up and they don't actually understand right now what it's like so it was only that I thought about the other day as well so I understand sometimes not saying that it's right to go behind the door and make money so that you can provide for your families or girlfriends uh, I would never say that, but it's, you can understand it sometimes. 
if they're suffering outside, you know, there's nothing worse because you, 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 you look at all the traveling, you look at their lives and everything's on hold for them. If they're true to you, I mean, it's a very, very big commitment I'm seeing now. So those are some of the debates that are going to be coming up. I really look forward to it. And I'm going to come up with a deep one in a minute about, well, I might do. Let me see, because it's a bit early to get excited about the addiction because I've been looking back to those lonely, lonely, dark places and the things that I had to experience uh, when I first tried to get clean and while I was using, you know, all the stumbling things that I bumped into where you think you're going somewhere and it's safer when in fact, you know, you're walking bang straight into a punch of uh, more addiction people because what I see from someone messaging me or someone getting close to someone online and everything but the one thing that you never expected is that they could be using as well do you see what i mean but sending loads of love uh really happy i hope you're all happy today doing the best you can